Hey guys, what's up? It's Mong Unbox coming back for another video. And today I'm gonna be doing my monthly reading log for September. I don't think I did my reading log for August because I'm pretty sure I just did a lot of reviews and I just didn't feel like it. And I wasn't really keeping track of my manga I was reading in August. But this month, I kind of just decided I'll do one. I think I read like six series. And also at the end, I'll just quickly go over the anime I watch, just say whether it's good or bad. I won't really be giving a complex notes on it. But yeah, let's just get into the manga. Okay, so first off, I went and I caught up with all the volumes of The Promised Neverland. I don't wanna really give anything away past what I did in my first impressions video because I did make that. And if you wanna learn more about the series, you can go check that out if you want. But overall, this series is uh, really great. The first and second arcs are amazing. Pretty sure these are the spawn the covers from the, <clears throat> the latest arc. Here's also the 16th one, couldn't fit it in. But yeah, this is a great series and I highly recommend it. Okay, I just realized in the last clip, uh, you could see some of the volume that I was holding up my phone in the bottom. But uh, I apologize for that and I fixed it. So the next series I read, well, I didn't read the series because you know One Piece, it's like 94 volumes. I don't even have up to date with it. But I read all of Skypea. And if you saw my collection video, you know I don't like Skypea. I actually hated it a bit. I feel like it was just very boring and slow paced and unnecessarily long. I think it's like, what, eight volumes? Yeah, it's like, no, it's more like nine volumes because the first volume of Water 7 is basically all Skypea. But I'm kind of taking a break from One Piece right now just because this was really slow. So I'm just taking a break to read other series. But I'll definitely get back to One Piece because I love One Piece and I know that Water 7 is next and Water 7 is supposed to be great. My friend is reading it right now and he loves it. But yeah, One Piece is good. It was just, this was not very good. Like just slow, slow and boring. There were some exciting parts like volume 28 and 29 were pretty good. And like a little bit of 30 was good, but it was just overall slow paced and not very interesting. Didn't grab my attention. Okay, so next up, I read Spy X Family Volume 2. I made a first impressions video on the first two volumes, but I'll still just go over this. I thought um, it was still good. I still think the series is overhyped a bit, but I still continue to enjoy the series. I'm awaiting the third volume. It was just this one was a little bit slower, not as much action, but that that's fine with me. I read a lot of series that like are like that too, where there's parts where there's not as much action, but I guess that's with a lot of series, I'm like, <laughs> except for like Dragon Ball Z or something. Okay, and the next series is Jujutsu Kaisen. This series is great. The anime came out and there's like six volumes out now. I read the sixth, but that was technically in October, so I won't include it. But this series is so good. If you want a lot more information on it, again, I have a first impression videos on my channel of it and I go into more detail about it. But yeah, this series is great and it has some beautiful covers. And I just love this series so much. It's a up and coming shonen. I'm super excited for more and more to come out and to build on the story and the characters. But yeah, I definitely think this will be big. And if you haven't checked it out, at least check out the first volume. It's great. Okay, and now we're on to Beastars. I don't know if I technically read these in October or not, but I'm not really sure. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it now in this video. So after, I finished the other series, which will be the next series that I'll show. I went straight onto this series and the first volume actually pulled me in. I heard some people say that the first volume uh, wasn't very uh, like grasping, but I found it super interesting and it pulled me right in. And I'm already in love with this series and I will definitely be reading more. I'll probably read volume three today. And I just, uh, I don't know if I can recommend you checking it out yet, 
but based on the first two volumes, I definitely recommend it. I think it's very good, and I think that it will get better, which is which is good because I already like it. But I can it kind of built on a lot of stuff in the first two volumes, and I could see it really start to pick up momentum and get to be like an amazing series that some people call it. Because I have all eight volumes up to date, and I'm super excited to catch up. Okay, so the last manga series we have here is Akira. As you can see, I got the Akira 35th anniversary box set, which these volumes are so, so nice. I just love them so much. And also, not only the volumes are they so nice, the series itself, the contents are so good. I read it all and I loved it. Each volume is probably equivalent to like two volumes, I would say because they're they're thick it doesn't matter how tall they are because uh the panels are just really big and these were enjoyable to hold in your lap because uh the binding was really good so you could fully open them up and look at the art i really appreciate it and i would this series is definitely top 10 even it might be top five i love this so much it's a great sci-fi action series and the plot is really good. The story like kept kept me on the edge of my seat. I loved it so much. I highly recommend this series. If you can't um afford to get the box set, even though it's nice, uh just get the paperbacks because the story is worth it and it's really good. So now let's get to the anime. Okay, so now let's just do a quick speed run of the anime I watched. Uh, these two episodes are actually came out in October, but I'm just gonna say it anyway. I watched the Haiku to the Top Part 2, Episode 1. I really enjoyed it. It was good. Uh, they really got into the volleyball match, and I think it's gonna be a great game, and I'm excited to see uh, how it goes. Next up, I watched Jujutsu Kaisen, Episode 1. As you know, I love the manga. And I thought that episode one was a really good adaptation. Next up, I watched Parasite the Maxim. I was thinking about getting the manga, but I decided to just watch the anime instead. And I love the anime. I highly recommend it. It's a short watch. It's only 24 episodes. And it was great. The main character went through some of the most character development I've ever seen in anime. And I think it's a must watch. Another must watch, the next anime I watched was Attack on Titan. I watched Attack on Titan season one a while ago. I have no idea why I stopped watching it. That's kind of crazy. But I came back to it and I rewatched the whole thing. I think uh, there's three seasons. I watched all three seasons and it's just great. It's so, it's worth the hype. All the hype is totally justified and it's just so good. If you haven't watched Attack on Titan, you gotta watch Attack on Titan. And I'm super excited for uh, season four, I think. I'm pretty sure it's coming in like December. I'll definitely be watching out for that. And I think I watched a couple more. Yeah, I watched uh, Dr. Stone. Dr. Stone, I was gonna get the manga, but then uh, me and my friend just decided to watch all the anime that's out and it was, Dr. Stone is now one of my favorite shonens, at least shonen animes. It's so good. It takes a different take, like a take on the shonen kind of demographic, but I think that it's really good. It's not really a battle shonen. It's a lot of sciencey stuff, but I don't think it's that hard to follow. Like you don't have to totally understand like everything they're saying, but it's really good. And lastly, I watched, oh yeah, I watched Bunny Girl Senpai. I thought that was really good. Uh, okay, sorry, I got cut off there. But as I was saying, Bunny Girl Senpai is a very good anime. It's a, it's a romance anime, kind of slice of life. And it has kind of a, some supernatural elements that are really cool. It's not too like, it, it's re it seems realistic, but there are things that are like, supernatural but it's not like like super all in your face like like supernatural and all that it's kind of more 
more normal, more chill, and I'd say it's really good. And I highly recommend it if you're into that type of genre. Okay, so thank you guys for all watching my reading log and I guess kind of anime log for the month of September. Uh, I didn't make one in August, as I said before, but I'm gonna try to make these every month. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel, drop a like and leave a comment. I love talking to you guys in the comments and see you guys in the next video.